Hi everyone. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the jury is still out on whether Putin had direct responsibility for the death of Alexei. The mainstream media has made their mind up. Well, of course they've made their mind up. Because who are they, the mainstream media? They're bought and paid for. BlackRock are the ones that are paying their wages. And BlackRock, as you know, they want war. Continued war. Forever wars. Now, there's something you need to consider, right? I'm going to say it in this order. Jeffrey Epstein, the mainstream media said he killed himself. That was a lie. Look what happened with um, the withdrawal in Afghanistan. Look how they left all that weaponry behind. How convenient that they would just abandon all that weaponry that could be used for wars. That was under Biden. All I'm saying is we mustn't jump to the most immediate conclusions. For all I know, they may have done. They may have decided to bring his life to an end at this point. And they may have done several attempts previously up until this recent attempt. But what happens if it wasn't who you really think it really would be? And that would be Putin. What happens if it wasn't Putin? Because this is going to put Russia at such a disadvantage. But who is going to be in the driving seat after this? Well, it's going to be the ones that are pushing through this billion this billion dollar package of weaponry for Ukraine. Zelensky gives a talk earlier and says, oh, it's most definitely Putin. Well, of course he's going to say that. He's going to, he's going to say that because he wants the billion dollar package of weapons. So... Let the jury stay out a bit longer. Let's not just jump to what the mainstream media is saying. They're putting food in our mouths right now as regards this. But look who the mainstream media are. They are the Freemason press who belong to Black Rock. And they will sing the tune of Black Rock, and if Black Rock tells them, you tell the world it's Putin enough times, people will start to hate Putin even more, believing he has to be stopped. But this is their continued love for warfare. It will come out in the end because great secrets will be revealed in the last days. Now, we all in the past thought that COVID-19 came from a wet market. Why? Because that was the narrative that they were pushing. And it turns out that that was just a lie. And the mainstream media have pushed so many inaccuracies. And this could be another inaccuracy because there has been... Russia hasn't come forward to carry out any investigation up to this point. So just be really careful now because this is thin ice. This is very thin ice. Can you now see how Biden gave that speech the other day, even though it wasn't very coherent, it was a bit bumbling. And can you see how he was threatening people who were going to stop the military package from going through. And now we have this occurrence. And they're now painting this man as someone who was a lover of democracy. I mean, as if you can say America are lovers of democracy. No, they're not. No, it's their version of democracy. It's their version of freedom. You know, it's you take it or if you leave it, you become an enemy. But you must always bow to their version of events. 
So I'm not really, I'm not just going to, um, no, as sad as it is, I will just say that if someone's lost their life and all they've done is want the truth to be known, then that's a very sad thing. But all I'm saying is that Putin and Russia have had many opportunities, haven't they? But the timing of this event, that should send a really stark warning. The timing of this is just immaculate. It's what you call pristine timing. That he loses his life just before they're about to push a military aid package through. And they just need something to get it over the line. And so will this be enough to get that military aid package over the line and continually support Ukraine and these forever wars? Now, is this package just going for Ukraine? Well, no, because it's already been commented that this package will incorporate the other two conflicts and another conflict to come yet. It's not exactly in full flight yet. But Taiwan, China, is all part of this package, as is Israel and Palestine. They've pushed through this package with three confrontations in mind. It's an evil world. But I am telling you that America is not white. They are not the white knight. And maybe people who have spoken up against them in the past, like Saddam Hussein, when they call them the great infidel, the great Satan, maybe he knew more than uh, we gave him credit. Maybe that's what they are. Just a wolf in sheep's clothing. They pretend that they're the friends of the world, that they're here to police the world. But they're not. That's just it, people. They're not. They're only ever out for themselves. The globalist, those investment bankers, they're only out for themselves. And that's why they love war so much. Because it's so profitable. It keeps them in the seat of power. At the very, very top of the pyramid of power is where they sit. And everybody else, everybody else is below them. Because that's how a pyramid works, people. <laughs> Everybody is playing a supportive role. All the other huge investment companies in the world that sit below BlackRock and Vanguard are in support of the top block, which they are. And so they can never, never lose. No wonder America likes pyramid selling. It's, it's, it's guaranteed to keep you at the top pyramid selling. But pyramid in the form of global power, the likes of which we can't comprehend. And they are all lovers of war. They never ever want war to come to an end because that's the money stopping and they need the money to keep coming in for all these immoral business dealings that they get involved with. And that's why I can't wait people for this system to end. It really has to come down. It really has to come smashing down. It doesn't deserve to go on any longer. And if we find ourselves on the wrong side of history with this, or if we find ourselves not being remembered in the book of life, then I think we just have to accept it. But we, nobody wants to live in this kind of world where every day your own government is lying to you.
But I will finish off by saying that, you know, anybody that is standing up to tyranny in whatever form, and if Alexei was standing up to Russian tyranny and, uh, it w and was campaigning for something better in Russia, then that's a good thing. But please stand back and look at uh, the whole picture here because things won't be as black and white as the mainstream media want you to believe. It, they never are as black and white as what they say. There was a time when I used to think the mainstream media were always telling the truth, but they very rarely ever tell the truth. And we have so much proof of that with COVID and with Jeffrey Epstein and with all the other wars under Blair and under Bush and so many lies regarding the Twin Towers and there's so many things that have happened where the mainstream media has been the first to tell you what it was only for them to be found out to have been completely false and they could well be false with this so let's just let time tell on this people because i'm sure that the great secrets will be continue to be revealed and that's why it's an exciting time to live in the book of revelation but scary at the same time i'll see you